everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. Okay, my brothers. Whoa, here we go. I hope y'all don't get triggered by this here. I hope the sisters don't get triggered because this is a, um, an important topic. I just hope that I can get it out the way I need to get it out. You know what I'm saying? We've all heard the saying that a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman. We heard that saying. It's an old nation of Islam saying from, from the teachings of supreme wisdom. It's been circling around, circulating around our community for a long time. In fact, I've heard it rehashed and remixed so many different ways that it's disrespectful. The original quote was, a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman. And it seemed like nobody ever understood what that meant. But today I'm going to break that down to you as to what it means. But then there's another side of the coin. The side of the coin that's more tied to religion, that's more tied to beliefs, that men were created first, that woman comes from man, that, you know, men are, are actually the carriers of the seed of life. That's true. Babies actually come from men. They don't come from women. Women are incubators as such, or ovens, if you will. You know, um, they, they bring forth that which is put into them and they multiply it, right? So that's a hell of a position for a woman. I mean, that's gangster, you know what I'm saying? That, that's, that's no slight to the woman. It's just that babies don't actually come from women. They come from men. So we got on one hand the seeds of life, and we got on the other hand a nation cannot rise no higher than the condition of this person, of, of this group. So who is actually more important to the restructuring and rebuilding of the so-called black American community? Who is actually more important? Who is going to actually be the one to bring that forth? The one that controls the babies? Well, the seeds, the one that holds the seeds of life? Or the one that, 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 that holds the, 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 the progression of, of the community, of the people in her hands? He holds the seeds of life. She holds the people in her hands. This is, this is two different things now. Understand this. When I thought about this topic, the first thing I had to think about was how to deliver this, man, because God, man, 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 we so sensitive. You know, we sensitive as hell, bro, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. And I don't know who's worse these days, brother, brothers or the sisters, you know what I'm saying? We don't really like hearing nothing that we don't like hearing. You know, and I'm not directing at anybody that in, in particular, you know, so I don't want nobody getting triggered. See, I got to even say that. I'm not directing at nobody. It's just that since I've been doing this channel, you should see the attacks I've been getting. I'm not talking about the people that support me that express things they disagree about. That's fine. That That's called life. I'm talking about the attacks I've been getting. I'm talking about how brothers been flagging my channel. Brothers, men have been doing this. So, you know, y'all got to understand, you know, I'm only here to help. I said it before. You don't have to listen to anything. I. Uh, you don't have to act upon anything I say. Just keep it in the back of your mind. So when you run into a wall, going the way you're going, because you're going to run into a wall, you have something else that you can consider. That That's all I'm here to do. Give you another option in life, right? But let's talk about the supremacy issue. If I was to start right now in trying to build a community, which I am, how would you go about doing that, brother? Because would you focus on teaching the women or focus on teaching the men? I would focus on teaching the men. Well, I thought you said that a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman. It cannot. But don't you understand that you cannot build a community without the women? You cannot. You are correct. So then why won't you focus on the women if they are that important? Because the women are not the builders. The seeds of the people come from the men, which means the seeds of creation and building also come from
from the men. The women are supposed to help the men build. She's supposed to take in what you give and multiply it and, 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 and help you increase it. Okay, so how is she, if she plays that role and only that role, then how can she be that important to say that a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman? Now, this is where Obsidian said something the other day that he was just dead wrong about. Dead wrong. He said that women are not teachers. He, he acknowledged, he acknowledged that the women, um, that, that, that you can't build a, have a community or a nation without women. He acknowledged that. But he turned around and said, women are not teachers. But let me ask you this. In a natural environment, when you are born, who titty do you suck on? The woman. Whose arms are you in majority of the time as a baby? The mother. Who's talking to you in your ears and singing to you when you're in a crib? The mother. Your mother is the first influence you have. Every baby born, their first concept of a God comes from looking at their mother. That is their God. That woman. That woman teaches them and molds them through the first few years of their life, not the father. See, he was talking about some old hunting shit. Some of the boys would be out there doing it. That motherfucker, you gotta learn how to walk before you get out there and hunt. While you learning to walk, you with your mother. While you crawling, you with your mother. While you pooping all over the place, you with your mother because she's supposed to feed you. You're supposed to be on breast milk in your early year, in your early stages of development. You're with the mother. Your greatest influence is that woman. So if she, if she is messed up, you will be messed up. The community will be messed up. The people will be messed up. This is why you cannot build a nation with a messed up woman. And this is why the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said that a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman. You notice he said the condition, the mental, spiritual, emotional condition of a woman. Not a financial condition, people. Finances don't matter. Put us, put us on a remote island in some jungle some damn where, and now all you have is nature. There is no economies and everything. But you still won't survive if that woman don't get on board. You are going to be in trouble with a feminist-minded woman. You're going to have chaos on that island. Your people are going to die off sooner or later. Probably make it a generation if you're lucky. Y'all be dead. You cannot do that if, every, if the women pump in certain beliefs into the children and walk the boys and walk the girls. By the time they grow up to be adults, they all messed up. If y'all thought that, that, that the women don't have that kind of influence, you wouldn't have all these bitch boys right now running around online crime, flagging channels, flagging campaigns. I heard one of them brothers think it was Grinch talk about how he lost the channel in the early days due to a flagging campaign that was that was waged against him by the Red Pill slash Manosphere community. How you like that? These are supposed to be your strong men, right? They're not poofers and ray rays. These supposed to be the astute men. But they're going around reporting channels, trying to get channels pulled off of YouTube simply because they disagree with a brother. That is bitch shit. You can't tell me. Listen, that comes from their mamas. This is behavior taught to them by the leadership of women. This is the result of your gynocracy, or uh, what y'all call it, gynocracy, gynocratic. You know, the word is gyno, gynocracy. That's the word, actually. But gynocratic, right? This is the result of your gynocentric. That's what y'all say. This is the result of your gynocentric society. To whatever degree that's true, because it's not really true, but it, it, just has, it has some truth in it. It's not really true, but it has some truth in it. But the way these men act is the result of that. The very things that these red pill slash manuscript men talk about, they exhibit the most feminine traits that you find in men. Oh, yeah, y'all mad at me. That go to clicks. <laughs> that go to clicks. That go to clicks.
I'm just I'm just here to tell y'all the truth. I'm just here to tell you the truth. When you are that emotionally tied to what you want to hear, that you can't listen to a brother for five minutes without clicking off his video because you're a man that he's not telling you what you want to hear, you have a problem as a man. It's different. It's different if you can see that I just don't know what the hell I'm talking about. And maybe some of y'all actually believe that. I don't believe you believe that. I don't believe you believe it because I, I've been challenging people since the beginning of this channel to tell me exactly what it is you don't agree with me on. And that my supporters will tell me exactly what they disagree about. They men. See, my supporters are men because they'll get in the comment section and tell me exactly where they disagree with me at. That's what men do. But you other cats, y'all just... Y'all just make nothing, you know, make statements like pookie talking ish. And, you know, y'all just say something nasty to me without explaining. What did I say to warrant that type of response? You can't give it to me. Because unlike y'all, one thing I know about Brother Cush is that I'm not an ideologue, bro. Everything I talk to you about is based on what I know to be true. And I don't have a problem with people not agreeing with me because I know we go through stages in life. You may not agree now. But you will agree later. You will reach a point where you understand what I'm telling you. And you're going to look back and say, damn, that brother said that back then. Because I'm telling you what I learned on the journey. Not what I learned in no book. Not what I learned by listening to somebody online and regurgitating what they say. I'm telling you what I learned from living. And the reason why we have so many weak emotional men is because of the way their mothers molded them in their early years that's what happened got nothing to do with us being out of the jungle and all of this stuff man nothing nothing to do with none of that nothing to do with none of that because it don't matter how hard we gotta grind it don't matter how close you are with your father after that you know what i'm saying you might could get some of that out you might not get it out it, it, i mean it's a 50 50 chance but the reason why a nation can rise no higher than the condition of its woman is because if the woman is mentally, emotionally, or all this stuff psychologically messed up, she will hand that down to the children. Thus, you will have a community that's messed up. If you want to know the condition of a woman, look at the condition of any community. It is really just that simple. And for all y'all that recognize that the black community is in disarray, you're looking at, at the results of the black woman. Now, don't get mad at me, sisters. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Don't get mad at me. Now, I got to tell y'all don't get mad at me. Don't get mad at me. But you're looking at the conditions of the woman. And there is no way for the men to circumvent that. The men could try to repair it later, but I mean, I don't think it, it, I don't think it works because we are, we are inundated with this stuff all through society. It's not just coming from our women handed down to us. It's through TV. It's through the news. You know what I'm saying? It's through all forms of propaganda. propaganda and I mean, you can't miss it. We are being drowned in, in, in feminist ideology. And it has weakened the men. And for the other men, and a lot of men are just trying to push back on it. That's what caused cause the creation of, uh, of the black version of the manosphere slash red pill trying to push back on it you know what I'm saying because the white boys really don't want to push back on it you know what I'm saying I'm not going to talk about them right now but they don't really want to push back on it but a lot of brothers are trying to figure out how to push back on this and they don't know how to go about doing it so what they're doing is that they without knowing they are acting like women they are they're reacting to everything based on emotion they are illogically responding to everything, to stimuli. You know what I'm saying? Nothing is coming from, from, from the brain. There's no cerebral thought going into anything that they're doing, the way they deal with stuff. None of that. They're just reacting. So what we got to do is understand that the brothers got to gotta change. The brothers have to return back to their alpha state of being. And there's no way they're going to be able to do that without the teaching of an alpha male. Oh, 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 you heard me, huh? Y'all not going to be able to return to that state 
without the teaching from a man that lives in that state. I ain't talking about somebody who pretend to be in it. I'm talking about the man that lives in that state of being. That's what you need. So let's go back now. Now we've established the importance of the woman. So Kush, if the woman is that important, you cannot have the community without her. If she, if she is messed up, the people are messed up. How then do you say that you will, you will focus on the men and not the women? Well, I will focus on the men and not the women for all the reasons I just named. That women are illogical. They respond to everything emotional. You know what I'm saying? They, 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 they just react to stimuli. You know what I'm saying? There's no cerebral thought patterns coming out of them in which they are, they, they're looking at the situation that they're creating. They don't care. It's all about how they feel at that moment. You can't build nothing with them either. So if men want a community built, the men got to come together and start building. The kinds of women that see that and can respect that, they are going to come. The problem y'all trying to do is y'all trying to drag a woman with you to build that don't want to be with you. You're trying to drag a woman alone on a certain type of journey that's already arduous and, and perilous. You're trying to drag her alone and all you're going to do is die with this woman. You cannot build with this woman in the condition as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said, the condition that she is in, you cannot build with her. So you need a woman that's not under that condition. You need a woman that's in a different mind space. This is not about race anymore. See, that's the problem y'all have. That's why I entitled it, the battle for intercommunity supremacy. The problem is there is no battle to be won there. The community is dead. It's dead. It's dead. It's been led by the wrong kinds of people the whole time. Excuse me. It's dead. It's been led by the wrong kinds of people the whole time. So what you're dealing with is, you're dealing with two, two opposing dynamics, right? Well, I don't know if they're opposing. Let's look at this. Because the truth be told, are the men really trying to build the community? Now, if we are to be honest, I would say no, black men have no interest in rebuilding the black community. What black men seem like they want to do to me is fit into white society the best way they can. But they don't believe that they can do that by crossing over, which they really can't. So what they want to do is try to bring the black woman into a certain mindset. Of, of subservience to the black men so then they could just become an economic thing you know just fall into the fray of, 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 of everyday living in America that's not what we need anyway what we need is to redo this thing we need the hood to be good again like it was when I was coming up we need I mean we need the hood to be a place where the children can play and be safe like it was when I came up I mean, yeah, we had crime and stuff, but it, all that stuff was isolated, man. It was just different. Civilians were off limits. Women and children were off limits. You know, the, 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 the street dudes had rules back then. We need to get to back, back to some type of rules. You know, the street cats funded the, the, the activities of the children. They made sure that the children who played park football and basketball and baseball, they, the drug dealers made sure that they had equipment, made sure the field stayed cut. Make sure the DJ was out there. Make sure the, the, the ref had uniforms on. This was all funded from the hood. The city didn't fund none of that stuff. We funded all that. The hood needed to become that kind of place again where the people in the hood reinvest back into the people in the hood. But truth be told, all we want to do is get away from black people. Let's be honest. All we want to do is get away from black people. So when we talk about this battle for intercommunity supremacy, there is no real battle because the community is a vicarious place. It don't really exist. It's, 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 we have this talk going on because we got a whole bunch of blacks that really wish they can do something else, but they don't believe they can. So they want to fight with each other, try to beat each other into submission. Black women are trying to beat black men into submission. Black men are trying to beat black women into submission. And that's not building community any way it goes. 
But if I was going to start to rebuild a community, to actually rebuild a community, I would get together with some brothers and say, listen, we need real skills. We need know-hows. Brothers that can actually use their hands to do things. We're going to go over here. We're going to take the money that we got from, from this system. We're going to go purchase this land over here, right? We're going to file a proper paperwork to create a, a, an autonomous enclave separate from this system. A parallel community, a parallel society, right? Kind of like the Amish do. It's not impossible, people. We got people living like that right now. You know what I'm saying? That this is how we should do it. So once we file a paperwork, you know what I'm saying, to get recognized properly with the United Nations that this is an autonomous enclave, we don't have nothing to do with the outside, right? I mean, they, they can create borders if they want. They can make us get passports and visas. Whatever they want to do, that's fine. But we don't want to have anything to do with this, right? So once we get into our enclave, we start building, right? We start building up. Well, that passport thing, that, that have never happened anyway because we are actually indigenous Americans, so we, we don't need no permission to travel. But that's another topic. I was just trying to be, you know, more legally proper. But that's another topic. But anyway, we'll start building. As we build, believe this. The kinds of women that can look at that and respect that, they're going to come automatically. They're going to just join. They're going to just start saying, what can I do to help? What can I do to support? And they're going to be there. And then you brothers are going to start talking to them. But they're already in a certain mindset. You see, you're not trying to exercise a demon out of them. There is no demon in them. You're not trying to pull feminist theory, intersectionality theory out of them. It's not there. These women are already in a certain place mentally. They're already in a certain place spiritually. All you got to do now is just get to know them as you build together. She's going to choose the man she wants. One man might have three, four women choose. Accept that, brother. That's his life. You know what I'm saying? But every man is going to get a woman. Trust me on that. This 80-20 thing, it's a myth. It's a myth. Every pot has a lid. Every pot has a lid. Every glove fits a hand. However you want to say it. Every man will have a woman or more. So as you building, as you moving, the women are going to come help and gravitate towards you. And they're going to become your help meets by nature. The submission that you seek is going to be there by nature. She's going to give that off bat. You won't be trying to force her to give it to you. She's going to come in that energy. She's going to come like that. Because she see men building. She see men creating. She see men being gods. And she's going to come and support those men that are being gods. The reason why these women don't respect y'all because all y'all talk about is this system. This evil, wicked world. But she can do whatever you can do in this world. Did I not do an early video on that? Talking about how social economics is not the way? Look at my early videos. I talked about that. The problem with y'all is that everything y'all define as, 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 as what it means to be a man, a woman can achieve it herself. So if if, if, if your definition of a man is all based on social economics and a woman can acquire the same social economics that you can attain, then what's the difference? She don't need you then. But if you was actually building a society, if you was actually creating a society, women will support that. If you was actually maintaining a real society, women will support that. Everything, you know, once the creation is done, the men still got to maintain it. Women will support that. The men still got to protect it. The men still got to do the maintenance on it. Women will support that. But women don't have to support you if everything you speak of is within this system. Because in this system, she don't need you. Not that she needs you in the other system. She wants you in the other system. That's the difference, y'all understand. She don't need you over there either. She wants you. Women will walk away from this madness. Women will walk away from this to be with men that are building and creating a real community. And we can do this right now within this system in small ways. You can test it out for yourself. Become a man that do things. Ask any brother that's actually a shaker and a mover. Do women mess with him? Ask any brother. I don't care if he's a plumber. I don't care if he's an electrician. 
a, a, a contract, a construction worker, if he's actually moving and doing things, women like men like that. They get online where, where, where the narrative is controlled, where, where the biggest mouthpieces have these huge platforms, and they pretend like those men are not good enough. But you never wonder why all those blue-collar men, at least most of them, are married? You never, you never wonder that? If they ain't married, they got a girl. Y'all never notice that? If they ain't married, they got a girl. Them dudes are not the ones complaining about women. They got women. It's the dude that, that, that's in a suit walking around with a briefcase. He's the one complaining. The so-called high-value man. Those women are not, those men don't complain. Those are not the sorts of men that are online. Them truck drivers not online crying. Come on, man. Y'all got to hear me on this, bro. So my thing is, I would focus on the men because I understand that nothing is going to get built without the men. That the women are simply help me. That no, you can't maintain a community without a good woman. But you can damn sure build a community without a good woman. But you don't need a bad woman now. I'm just saying, you could build a community without any woman. You could build it. The women will come. There's an old saying in, in like, like, like construction and real estate. You build it, they will come. You build it, the women will come. They got women that are disgruntled with this system right now. Man, brothers, y'all got some opportunities out there, man. You got some women that are serious, seriously, seriously dissatisfied with the way we live. Man, if they had another option, they would take it in a second. But you can't look at women as property. You can't want to bring them over there so you can abuse them. And, and treat them like 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 a slave, like 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 they're a third class citizen. You can't do that. You gotta look at these women like they're human beings. If you respect them as a human being, they will walk from this stuff, bro. You will have over there black women, white women, Asian women, Latina women, Indian women. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mean so-called Native American because we are actually Aboriginal Americans. I mean East Indian women. You know what I'm saying? You African women that are here, they will walk away from the African men. You build something. Them African men can be as mad as they want. They will walk on them. The problem is we ain't building nothing. We not creating nothing. We're not showing the women that we have God inside of us. All we talk about is this wicked, evil system. We don't talk about nothing outside of this madness. But if we start talking outside of this madness, the women will come. Because the whole argument that these females have right now is predicated on you. You depending on this system to validate your manhood. And this is why they can cut you off at the knees so easily. They can't cut a brother like me off at the knees, bro. I don't care if I'm up or down, sideways or what, bro. They can't cut me off at the knees, man, because my manhood is not tied to this system. Allah made me what I am. They don't make me what I am. The system don't make me what I am. The white folks don't make me what I am. I self am Lord Master, not money, not social economics, not women. See, when women come in my presence, she's in the presence of a God. And she recognizes that, and that's why I've never had a problem with women of any race. No, every woman is not meant to be in your life long term or forever, man. That's another thing you got to learn as you traveling through life. You got to upset. Uh, you got to accept that also. But the one that's going to stay with you, she's going to be there. See, I'm going to talk about that again, about the polyg polygyny. Why that's so important. I talked about it before, but y'all get mad at me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to revisit all of these old videos because now maybe y'all will hear me. I got a few more people. The channel was new back then. I dropped some good knowledge, but now I'm going to come back and say it all over again because maybe now y'all will hear me. You let the process play out, bro. You're going to end up with one or more women that love you. Believe it, I'm telling you. And it's not going to be based on social economics. It's not going to be based on your college degree, your income, because we won't need none of that where we at anyway, right? We won't need none of that, bro. Well, how are we going to eat? The earth provides, bro. Well, how are we going to build stuff? The earth provides, bro. Everything you got, the earth gives you, man. Every metal, every piece of plastic, every vehicle, cell phone, everything you have comes from raw materials made from the earth. That's why land is so important. You get land, you've got everything you need. We purchased us a couple of acres, man. 
we start building our community, women will come. You, you designate a little area where we're gonna let the grass grow around, wild with some herbs and everything growing in its natural state. We have enough food to feed everybody, have access to some water for the brothers that wanna go fish, you know. Hopefully you do it right, you have access to some, some wooded areas, which is getting harder and harder to find inside the United States. They just, it's like the white man has a hatred against trees, um, bro? I mean, it's like, like, it's like this motherfucker never seen a tree he liked. I mean, they, they see too much woodland, man. They got to cut it down, bro. I mean, this shit is sick, but we need that forest, bro. We need that forest, man. I mean, this shit is sickness, bro. We got a bad, we got damn cities and towns damn abandoned, and they still expanding, building new shit. We don't need new shit. In fact, that's the point. We already got cities and towns that's already in, got grids set up, plumbing grids, electrical grids, everything set up. We should just petition the government and say, man, let us take these things over and make this our city, our enclave. Most of them got some wooded areas around. You got access to some, some hunting. They got, they got lakes and ponds around. You got access to some fishing. They got plenty of food around. Food grows everywhere. Y'all hear me talk, y'all saying this nigga's a hippie. No, I'm not. I'm a realist. You know? I'm a realist. And I won't out of this system. I'm gonna wrap this up though, man. Because you know, really and truly, <laughs> if I ain't make the point by now, I ain't gonna make the point to you. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't you don't see what I'm talking about, you ain't gonna hear it. So, you know, I'm gonna wrap it up. But the point is. <clears throat> If we get out there and build like men, the women will come. So men are more important than women. If you want to rebuild or reestablish a new community, the men are the most important factor. That's why I started this channel for the men. This is why I targeted the men. Because we can do what we do with anybody. Truth be told, the black woman is stuck with us. Sisters, don't get mad at me. I know y'all get, don't get mad at me. But the black woman ain't got nowhere to go, bro. She lives in delusion on these YouTube channels talking all that dumb shit. Like that fat, ugly black chick talking about she was at a five-star restaurant with a Jewish white man, you know what I'm saying? You know, and, and some brother got mad. All this other chick with her ugly ass, big bird's nest on her head talking about she dating, she date white boys with private jets and all that shit. Man, y'all go sit y'all fantasy living asses down somewhere. No, they don't, bro. They ain't got nowhere they can go. They are damaged, bro. And I feel bad for my sisters, man. For real, for real, bro. Because they are messed up. Their own attitudes, the way they carry themselves, the way they dress, makeup, everything about them. I mean, from through and through, they are they are damaged. No man wants them in, in, in any significant amount. No man. No particular race of men want black women in any particular amount. None. You know what I'm saying? None. You know? I mean, they can sit here and talk that shit, but no man wants them. So they ain't got nowhere to go. They stuck with you. But brothers, y'all not stuck. Y'all can go build with anybody. But see, this is why I did that video the other day talking about the pro-blackness, how it holds us back. Because if you're dating according to those tenets, you're not going to move forward. Because you're steady trying to drag a woman with you that has no intentions on going with you anywhere. First of all, the black woman loves this system. She can't do what she do outside of the system. She can't be the way she, or she, way she is outside of the system. She's not going to leave this system in, in, in any significant amount, bro. So you got to hang that up. If you really want to establish a, 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 a true independent community, you have to be open to doing that with whatever women want to do that with you. Because that's the natural order of things. Women choose. You got to be open to doing that with whatever women want to do that with you. And that's just the way it is. So black men, we can get out there and build. And this is why we are the most important factor. We can build, and we can build this community with anybody. And in case y'all don't understand Mendel's rule, y'all need to go study um, Dr. Mendel, man, biology on, on, on dominant and recessive genes. This whole myth about biracial, nah, but look, we reproduce ourselves, man, because the seeds of life come from who? The man. We reproduce only us, man. 
it takes some it takes a lot to for us to make the blackness out out of ourselves we would have to produce with a white person and those babies have to produce with white people even then it might not be enough even then it might not be enough but but uh, but 50 50 if, if one black man and one non-black woman go still produce a black child yes this is a fact go read the white man since y'all like to listen to him the white man dr mendel he already did dominant and recessive genes he explained it he was one of the reasons why they had the one drop rule and all this crazy shit back in the day that now they have somehow reversed now it's like you know a, 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 a nigga could come out from from a white you know a, a interracial situation he come out darker than chocolate you know what i'm saying they're telling me he's mixed <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You, you're not black you're mixed you know what i'm saying i ain't got a white feature on me what the hell you mean nah it don't matter you know it don't matter nah it matters bro first of all you are what you appear to be that's the first thing you are what you appear to be so anyway my focus will be on the men and that's why it's not that women are not important but their importance comes after after the men build and create something to to maintain then the women's importance kick in because she takes in what the man builds and she helps to increase it so in other words you still couldn't drag these women over there if, if they were to fool you and go with you over there that community is not going to thrive it's not going to thrive because you see where her mind is she's not going to help you she's not she, she, she's going she's going to destroy it they have they have little or no respect for men it's amazing man black women act like they don't have no daddy they always talk about the black man yeah then you hate your mama but y'all act like y'all hate every man y'all ever came in contact with daddy grandpa you know what i'm saying brother you know i mean it's crazy man but it is what it is anyway on that note i'm gonna stop the ramble for those that want to support man you know what i'm saying this is how you support me you like the video share the video subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon to get more notifications when i drop more content right if you want to throw me five bucks it's much appreciated you know what i'm saying i'm not here for your money but you know this is a passion and it is it does take time and everything to do this here so if you want to help me get new equipment you know um file the paperwork that i'm trying to do for the community and everything i mean i'm working on things and everything i'm doing does cost money so if you want to help me do these things you know help me out throw me a few dollars you know Vimbo at the black alpha.com cash app at the black alpha.com paypal at real black alpha at gmail.com it's on the screen you can see it you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna leave it at that you know um i hope everything was clear i hope i was able to get this get this out the way i wanted to um because you know sometimes this sometimes this information is hard to get out because it's so convoluted man you know a lot of people get triggered when they hear certain things so it's not always easy but I do my best in trying to trying to tap into the right energy and the right spirit so I can say this stuff in a way where I don't trigger anybody, man or woman, to click it all too soon at least. At least, at least I want to get most of the message out before, before you get mad at me, you know what I'm saying? So it's not easy, you know what I'm saying? Because we in the world right now where everybody just want to hear what they want to hear. You know, completely apathetical towards anything, you know, that might be beneficial to them if it's not something they want to hear. They just don't care about it. And, and that's not life man because i could cater to what you want to hear but confirmation bias don't change your life it doesn't help you in reality it might make you feel good but it doesn't have a real world benefit what i'm trying to do is give you a real world benefit bro sister same thing and i'm gonna do the sister thing soon man to um silence the noise i gotta get in the right spirit for that right now but you know, as soon as I get in the right head space, I will film that. Yeah, everything is already set up. As soon as my head is right, as soon as the spirit take me, you know, the energy catch me, you know, catch me right, I'm going to put that out there. But until next time, I'm out of here, I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the Black Alpha. Salam.